Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video might be seen and shared. Celine Driver once again bringing you another unboxing and review of a watch that is mine. Um, those of you who follow my channel know that I am a very, very big fan of Zelos watches. No secret. <laughs> I am also a big fan of the original and one of the earliest Zelos watches that was released, the Eagle lineup. This was a, a very good sized pilot's watch that was released in uh, four uh, models, uh, e E1A, B, C, and D. And it took a while. Once I bought my first one, I decided that I wanted to own all four. It took a while, but I did finally acquire all four. And there are videos on my channel to that effect. Needless to say, I am a big fan of uh, the original Eagle Watch. So when Elshin recently announced that there was going to be a second generation Eagle, I said, oh, sign me up. Um, and probably sign me up for more than one. Probably turn into certainly more than one. And this will be the third um, Eagle that I have acquired and thus the third um, Eagle, second generation Eagle video that I've done. And this one is, you know, something uh, it, with a watch dial that sort of put Zelos on the map all those years ago. As a matter of fact, my first Zelos that I ever purchased and I still own was a hammerhead with a meteorite dial. And inside this typical for the day blue leather Zelos travel roll is a second generation Eagle with a meteorite dial. Um, as I said, Zelos has become known for many different things over the years. Uh, one of the first things was the heavy use of meteorite as a dial material. They've since become known for aventurine watches, uh, titanium Damascus watches um, with the blued or the yellowed uh, treatment, and a few other a few other noteworthy things. But meteorite was the original thing, in my opinion, that put Zelos on the map. And as you can see. I have been sent a very, very nice slice of meteorite for this uh, watch. So thank you, Elshin, for making uh, a very nice watch for me. I'm not saying he did, but, you know, hell, he, he created Zelos, so thank you for creating Zelos. Titanium case, just like the other Eagles that I've reviewed. This one is the um, you know, semi-gloss, if you will, the non-gunmetal, like the Cerakote is in a gunmetal coating. This is just um, a silvery uh, coating. Kind of, it does have some, to my eye, it has sort of a semi-gloss to it. The inner cage is more of a raw titanium, as is the screw-down crown. It has kind of a turbine look to it. And just a beautiful presentation with that blued inner ring and the blued hands against the, um, the silvery gray uh, meteorite. It, it just presents beautifully. A little splash of color there with the yellow second hand. I love the way, if you notice, the second hand, the bottom edge of the second hand appears to be gliding along the outer edge of that blued ring. It's not actually touching, as you can see from that angle, but the, the, the size of the uh, pointer, it, it looks like it's, it's attached to the 
blue ring, even though it's not. And I, that, that's kind of a nice effect. You have the eagle cage uh, um, case or the case within a case look to it. That's that honeycombed um, treatment to the inner cage. I really like th that style. You have a um, exhibition case back that shows off the G100 Lejeune Pere movement. You can see this is number 12 of the 150 meteorite dials that are going to be made. You can see the escape wheel banging away there. Custom turbine rotor. And you can see the winding mechanism turning as the rotor turns. Gives you an idea of how the watch works. You have a FKM rubber strap with kind of a textured surface with the contrast white stitching. Matches up nicely with the numerals. All very pilot's watch looking. Titanium um, pin buckle. Beautiful watch. Really like the way this watch looks on the wrist. I'm going to give you a wrist shot right now. It is about a millimeter or so smaller than I'm really, than I usually buy. I usually try and stay above 40 millimeter. This one comes at 39 millimeter. But the width across the wrist is, is pretty broad at 48 millimeter. So the watch wears a little bigger than the 39 millimeter di uh, case diameter would, um, would lead you to believe. So I think it fits very well on my seven and a quarter inch wrist. And since I've gone over the measurements, I'll just reiterate them. 39 millimeter diameter case, 48 millimeter on the tip to tip, 20 millimeter lug width, 13.1 millimeter thick, boxed sapphire crown on top, flat sapphire uh, crown, boxed sapphire crystal on the top, flat sapphire crystal on the bottom. Presents very nicely. Now, uh, let's see. What else do I need to say about it? 100 meter water resistance. It does have a screw down crown. It does disengage with an audible pop and you can feel it in your fingers. The first click is a ghost position because the G21 movement, uh, Z, G100, G21, where did I come up with that? The G100 movement does have a date function if you want it as a, as a maker, but it's a ghost position here. Second click hacks the movement and goes into time setting mode. Push it in, movement starts up again. Give it a little push, give it a couple of turns. The screw down crown is locked in and you have your 100 meter water resistance back. 100 meter water resistance does make it swimmable. You could probably even do a shallow dive if you wanted to, but you know, why push your luck, right? You have dive watches for that. You have your hammerheads, your swordfish, your abyss, your thresher, your black tip. Yeah, I guess the black tip was a diver. You have plenty of other Zelos divers to, to, to play with. This doesn't have to be it. This is just a very, very nice pilot's watch with the sloped bezel and the relatively thin profile. It could be a dressier watch. It could pull off that function very nicely. Again, I think the second generation Eagle is a home run for, for Zelos. I think they knocked it out of the park again. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Zelos fanboy, which I am. I admit that. Uh, I state that up front. But I think the design as a pilot's watch works. And at 39 millimeter, it might be a little smaller as your wrist gets bigger. 
but I think for uh, uh, for a, a majority of wearers out there, a 39 millimeter watch with a 48 millimeter lug to lug is going to fit the build just fine. I think they've done uh, a great job, and um, stay tuned. There'll be there'll be another Eagle video um, coming soon. I'm not going to elaborate. Just Coming soon to a YouTube channel near you, another Eagle uh, video will be forthcoming. But for now, I hope you found this video to be entertaining, useful, enjoyable. If you did, please click that thumbs up button for me. That does help with YouTube search algorithm, helps bring people to the channel, and that is a good thing. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to try to troll me, you are going to try to insult me, or you are going to leave links to bad places on the internet, I am simply going to delete the comment and block the commenter. There's always one. Always. You know who you are. And as I always say, oh, oh I forgot the other part of the spiel. Uh, if you're a new user, of course, welcome. I'm glad you found my channel. I'm glad you uh, are here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have over a thousand videos on this channel. I hope you will take the opportunity to uh, watch more videos. All I ask in return is that you uh, click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. Don't forget to click the bell icon too so when I upload new material you are alerted. I am trying to grow this channel to 3,000 subscribers and when I do there will be a watch giveaway at that time and trust me it will be a watch that you would want to win. So please be around for that. And as I always say at the end of my videos, it is a crazy old world out there. It is not getting any less crazy as we move through this thing called life. So I ask all my viewers, subscribers and non-subscribers alike, please be careful out there. Stay safe. Be well. See you soon.